Here we go, Dad Strong Velt Squad Edition. Now, a lot of you may have seen some of this on a machine before, but I got this from Iron Mind, and it's, uh, it's, it's kind of just a belt squat where you, where the belt has got the carabiner and you hook these chains through them, or, well, they're fabric chains, but anyway, these can hold like 3,500 pounds, so for most people this will do just plenty. But I've been really using these a lot lately, not just with myself, but with uh, patients and, and athletes that come through here. Because what we can do is really work on good mechanics of the squat with a little bit of load without having to load them on their back. And, you know, as a chiropractor, I see people that have a lot of back pain, and sometimes we need to work on repatterning the squat with a little bit of load, but they can't bear that kind of weight on their spine. They, they just aren't comfortable bracing to have that compressive load. So... <clears throat> What we can do is hang a little bit of weight between their legs, elevate them. That's the downside of the belt squat is you got to get up on some kind of platform. But what we can do is put a little bit of load down this way, and it also provides a little bit of traction to the spine. So let me get hooked up here. This is 88 pounds. There we go. We want to get as high in the crotch as we can, and we want to wear the belt down so it's just at the top of the pelvis. Now, what's nice about this is if you have athletes that tend to hyperextend when they start their squat, this belt makes that correction right away because they have to fight wanting to let their butt stick out like this. You know those people, they have the bar and they get in this position and lock their bones together and they complain that deadlifting and squatting hurts their back. <laughs> Put this belt on, we hang this weight between their legs. They automatically see how I've got to squeeze my butt to set that spine to be comfortable because otherwise if I just hang out here, that belt's putting that shear on me with this weight. It doesn't feel good. So it's kind of a way to make an automatic correction. Louis Simmons talked about this a long time when he was doing belt squat. They do a lot of belt squat machines at Westside to help people correct this <clears throat> wanting to stick their butt out. So, we be careful, we get him up on the platform. So now that they have that feedback from the belt of, okay, I've got to set that pelvis and squeeze that butt tight, it helps them create that, that rotation, that driving the feet into the ground and screwing the feet and hips into the, into the plates that we want them to have. So, now, like I was saying earlier, we got to be elevated so we can get deep enough. And, and really, when I'm working with someone, I'm not so concerned about how deep it gets. I'm more concerned with, can they set that spine position? Can they bring the pelvis underneath? Can they breathe and brace? And what's nice about this belt is, it, is where it sits between that, or just above the pelvis, between the ribcage and pelvis, it gives them that feedback of, okay, I can breathe out and feel my sides, my back, going, expanding out of the belt, and I can, so I can squeeze that butt, I can breathe out of that belt, brace that stomach, create that tension, get my hands out front of me, sit back, sit back, sit back, spread the knees open, keep the feet pointed, you know, 15 degrees or so out, and what else is nice about this, is I can pause people down at the bottom for quite a while because there's not that overwhelming compressive load from a bar hanging on them. So <clears throat> there's also a good way to get them to create some stability, maintain some pressure in the bottom because the load is down here. So they can hang out there for quite a while. So people that really struggle with that bottom position, <clears throat> this is a nice way to help them sit in the bottom, push those legs open, open up, and spend some quality time down there because like with a goblet squat or prying goblet squat, they've got to hold on to something. And sometimes, you know, that can burn out their arms. They get a little fatigued doing that. This way, we can get them down there. And they can hang out and let that come down. I'm going to have to bring this up a little higher for them to get deeper. It doesn't matter. <laughs> but if you guys have one of these available, it's a very nice tool to help athletes that have that tendency to hyperextend get them to engage that hip, create that better rotation, drive those knees open, drive those hips open, and work on that breathing.
breathe in bracing position here. So if you've got one, check it out. If you don't, they're not that expensive. You don't have to spend a bunch of money on those belt squat machines. Next time I'll go into talking about even doing some marching and things like that. So tell me what you think. Get a belt squat machine, or not a belt squat machine, get one of these belt squat things. Check it out. Let me know how you feel about it and uh, go be awesome.